Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be filming a very Christmassy video. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be decorating the house for Christmas, which is probably one of my favorite things to do because I love Christmas and I love Christmas trees. I love decorating them. Oh, I'm really excited. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I thought I'd vlog it for you because I feel like I used to always do like Christmassy vlogs, but last year I feel like I didn't do one. I'm pretty sure I didn't do any Christmas vlogs last year. So you guys have never seen me decorate this house. For Christmas it means you haven't seen my new tree oh my goodness okay we've upgraded cool he's bigger now so yeah I'm just gonna vlog my day whilst I decorate the house I hope you guys enjoy it I'm all Christmassy as well I've got my Christmas onesie I've done my Christmas nails let me show you so these are my Christmas nails I do this every year like I'm pretty sure I always do the same nails for Christmas but they're basically just some red nail polish with some like silver sparkly bits on it I just think they look really cute and very Christmassy so those are my nails and then I've also got on my Christmas onesie which I need to show you although I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it before I've had this for quite a while but I'll show you anyway here she is this is my little Christmas onesie I'm so out of breath because I just had to run up two flights of stairs to show you this <laughs> this is what the onesie looks like I think it was from boohoo but I think I got it a couple of years ago so I doubt they still do it but I just love it it's so cozy so Christmassy <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> nearly choked myself nice one <laughs> The weather today is so disgusting. Let me just open the curtains. I have a garden now. Have you seen it yet? I actually have grass now. Like we finally got that sorted. Oh, I can't open the curtain. Whoa, let me just open them up. Ta-da. Look at this glorious weather. Yeah, it's really not a very nice day. Anyway, where's my little fluff? Moon, 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 moon. What? Where is he? Oh, of course, he's under the tree. I haven't explained yet why the tree is already up. I'll explain that in a sec, but here is, oh no, he's with the wires. That can only mean a bad thing. <laughs> Basically, the tree is already up because we put it up at the weekend because I figured I'd probably need Alex's help actually putting the tree up because I'm very small and that tree is very tall. So yeah, he helped me put it up at the weekend. I did film like a little time lapse of us putting it up. So I guess I'll insert that now. Why has the lighting just gone really strange? What is going on? I'm gonna insert that clip now whilst I try and work out what is going on outside. It's getting really bright suddenly. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's being such a good boy. Honestly, last year he just kept trying to eat the tree, climb the tree. When he was a little kitten, he was so naughty with it. But this year, he's really not been that bad at all. He likes to sit under it, but he's not really attacking it. So that's good. Thanks, mate, for not destroying it. But anyway, this is what our tree looks like this year. I feel like it's definitely an upgrade from the last tree you saw, because the last one, it was a little bit small and a little bit sparse, but I feel like this one is just a lot fuller and just, I don't know, it just looks better. We got it last year. I'm pretty sure it was from the range. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I put the lights on? Thank you. Uh, I got rich. I got rich. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think they're called cluster lights and they're basically like in clusters. So there's loads of them. And I just think they give off a really nice effect. Obviously it will look so much better later when it's dark. Just as I was saying, he hasn't been chewing it. He's chewing it. Full on having a munch on it. Moon? No. So before I start decorating, I just want to show you guys some things that I've ordered recently. This little section of the video is actually sponsored by La La Lab. So I'm going to explain to you guys what La La Lab is. So La La Lab is basically an app that allows you to transform your iPhone photos, your Instagram photos, your Facebook photos into a bunch of different products. So as you can see, you can make photo books, prints, a photo box, calendars, wall decor, magnets. You can even make a phone case. There are a bunch of different products that you can make using your own photos from your phone. This app is so simple and easy to use. It's just set out really nicely. It's very aesthetic and just, 
I just found it really easy to use. So yeah, that is what the app is. So I ordered a few different products. This one I'm actually gonna give to Alex as a little surprise when he gets home from work later. So I think we should probably look through this one together. There's just a bunch of like my favorite photos of me and Alex throughout the years. So some of these you will have never seen before. Shall I give you a sneaky peek? Let's give you a sneak peek. So this is the La La box. As you can see, it comes in a really cute little box. And then inside, you've just got all of the prints that obviously you chose to have printed. They're super high quality. And I'm pretty sure you could also write on the bottom of these ones. I didn't do that, but I think that's a really nice touch. You could put like the dates of the photos on them if you wanted. But yeah, this is just one of the many photos in there. This was probably taken about, I'd say nearly nine years ago. Like this was when we were first together. So this is is the mini book and this one I basically used to print out a bunch of my favorite photos from 2019. I just think it's quite nice to have like physical copies of your favorite photos and not just have them on your phone. I just think this is a really nice way of getting them printed out, putting them in a little book, just as a nice way to keep them. So yeah, let me just show you. So this just gives you an idea of what the mini book will look like on the inside. These are just a couple of photos from Soph's Skinny Dip event, which was probably one of my favorite memories of the year because it's the first event I ever went to. So I definitely had to put those photos in there. This is just the best thing in the world. I made a calendar and I made it all about Moon because he is just the best. <laughs> So this is what the calendar looks like. And then of course, you've got your photo on the top. This was the first photo I ever took of me and Moon. Oh, that was so cute. I purposely did this one for October because I think it's the scariest photo I have of him. It's actually a little bit terrifying, but it's also hilarious. Oh, okay, possibly my favorite photo of him of all time. And then that is what the front cover looks like. So yeah, this is the calendar. And then my final little purchase was some magnets. They come in this adorable little bag, which again, if you want to give it as a gift, I feel like this just kind of adds to it a little bit. And then inside, I've just put some of my favorite photos, most of them of Moon. And yeah, it's just so cute. I'm gonna go and put these on the fridge right now. Let's go and do it right now. <laughs> Let's do it together. They are so cute. I have got a bunch more, but I think that'll do for now. So yeah, I'm very excited to give Alex his little box of our photos when he gets home from work and we can have a look through them together. But yeah, I just feel like these would make the perfect Christmas gift or just a gift any time of year. I think everybody loves a good personalized present. Everyone loves looking through their old photos. So I feel like these would make really lovely Christmas presents and or just for yourself, like I have with the little mini book, just to like print off your photos so you've got them for yourself. If you'd like to check them out, I'll have a little link in the description box and I also have a 30% discount code. I'm gonna put it on the screen here so you know what it is, but that'll get you 30% off anything on the whole website on all orders, which I think is amazing. So yeah, if you're stuck for Christmas gift ideas, go and check them out. Go and make someone a little calendar, little photo book. I guarantee you they would like it very, very much. Okay, it is now time to start decorating and I just got an order at like the perfect time. I wasn't sure if these were gonna arrive today because I literally ordered these yesterday. They came super quick. I basically ordered some Christmas cushions and I'm very happy with them. <laughs> I ordered these from the range. They're so cute. I thought it'd be nice to like switch up the cushions on the sofa just for Christmas time. So this is a little red one and it says cozy this Christmas. Very cute. These are so nice. This was such a good idea. High five Sophie from yesterday. Hello. Hello. I just love the colors of this one. So it's just like a little white and red and gray cushion. Someone's very interested. It's got little red pom-poms. I don't know, I just find this one really cute and it just says ho 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 on it. This one looks like it's gonna be really soft. Okay, I'm excited Moon. I think you're gonna like this one. So it's just a little reindeer. I love the little tartan ears and antlers. It's adorable. Okay, I love it. And I love that they all match. They've all got that kind of like gray and red and white theme. Oh, I think I need to decorate the tree first. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. How adorable are these little tree decorations? They're just these like little blokes with no eyes, basically. I think they're called snomes. I've got like a big version, which I'll show you in a minute, but these are mini ones that you can hang on your tree. I just think they're so cute. They've got little fluffy beards and little noses. Oh, can someone please explain to me why bloke number one, I managed to chop off the label, we're all good. Number two, instead of chopping off the label, I chopped off the string that you used to hang them up. Why on earth did I do that? <laughs> like honestly, why did I do that? Now we're a snowm down. I, I can't hang him up now. So I just got all of the tree decorations out and I was thinking, there were three a second ago. 
And this is what I find. No, you can't destroy the little men. Yoink. Sorry. So yeah, these are all of the tree decorations. As you can see, the theme is very much red, white with a hint of gray. There we go with a hint of gray. So these are also some new decorations that I got for this year. I think they are so cute. They're just these little like candy cane, love heart decoration things. They actually look and feel like proper sweets. Like I actually feel like it's an actual candy cane. Should I nibble it? No. <laughs> I imagine it's not edible, but it feels like a proper candy cane bent into a heart shape. I've also got these little star decorations that my mum picked up for us this year. And I think they are so cute. You know me, I love my stars. And these are in our perfect color scheme because we always go for like a white, red and gray theme. So these are perfect and they've got little jingly bells on the end. Oh, moon all like this. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love him. These are also one of my favorite decorations. I think they're so cute. They're just these little gingerbread houses and they're all like 3D and they just, they look like actual gingerbread. That's making me, oh, speaking of gingerbread, oh, I have a little make your own gingerbread house kit from M&S and I'm gonna see if Alex wants to make it when he gets home from work. He probably won't because he's been at work all day, but you never know. And of course, if we do make it this evening, I'll be sure to add it into this little vlog to make it even more Christmassy. Oh, oh my God, it'll be like the ultimate Christmassy vlog. Tree decorating, room decorating, gingerbread house making. Wow, wow. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished decorating the tree. This is what it looks like. I think it's done. I might add a few more. I've got a few more down there, but for now, I think it's done. I've kind of left out the bottom layer because a certain someone will pull them off. But yeah, I need to do... Oh, by the way, Alex is here now. They might have wondered what that voice was from the distance. Hello. It was me. <laughs> He's back from work now. What do you think of the tree? It's not done yet though. We haven't put the star on top. We need to do that in a minute. Do you think the batteries are still gonna work, Ali? Oh. Why do you just? Yeah, they're kind of flickering. Well, that probably won't last long. You can't even see on camera that I turned it on, but it does light up. Should we put it on if I get on your shoulders? No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, do you want to bend it a bit? Oh, no. No way did we have it like that. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to slide no, back. Go forward, ready? <laughs> Such a drop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Like it's doing that. <laughs> it does. Okay, Ali, you try and fix it. <laughs> you can't even see it on the camera. It blends in with the walls. Where should we put this? Oh no, there he goes. Off he goes. <laughs> that sound of shattering balls. <laughs> Where should we put it? Um, I'm thinking maybe. Up your bum. No. I'm thinking maybe on the windowsill. Ah, no, I like that there. Yeah, she can live there. And then even when this is shut, oh, you still see a little bit peeking through. We also have a bunch of these little guys, which I absolutely love. This is the big version of the minis that I've got hanging on the tree. I hope they don't mind being hung on the tree. It's like it's children hung up there. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, this is the big guy. I love these. I think they're so cute and they're so soft. So I'm going to pop some of these out. We've got the grey one. We've also got the great one <laughs> with a red hat and oh and little plaits and then we've also got a reindeer he's very cute oh can you grab basil mm. basil's been out all year round he never goes away but i'll show you him anyway because he is kind of christmasy is he a penguin no you said that last year i always think he's a penguin a robin but this is a little robin and we named him basil i'm not sure why i'm just gonna pop these out and about i'm gonna put them on the shelves and stuff like that and i've also got a little cute stocking that i'll hang up somewhere what else oh i've got my little pine pine i've got my pine scented candle which smells amazing that is the smell of christmas so i need to pop all of these bits out we need to do the cushions oh i'm excited about the cushions are you excited about the cushions ali oh i love cushions <laughs> almost took my eye out. Three, two, one. I think my hat's a little floppier than yours. Yeah.
You right, lads? Two boys hanging out. <laughs> Under a tree. So we have just ordered pizza. It's actually already here. Where's yours, Alex? Um, uh, I ate it. He's already eaten it. I don't even know what you ordered for me, really. Um, vegetables. Oh, oh Moon spotted the star. Are you ready to lift the lid? I've had, I've had a sneak peek. It's actually not very impressive. Oh, is pizza. it not? I, I mean, mean, it's healthy. But... It looks all right. It looks colourful. What about <gasps> me? Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. You have to go back to the drawing board with that. Anyway, I'm going to eat my pizza now, and you're probably going to eat some as well because mm -hmm. you always do. do. Um, but I'll see you guys again afterwards. I have a surprise for you afterwards. I have a little treat. <laughs> you're going to catch on fire. <laughs> Thank you very much. The lalab. <laughs> la la lab. Oh. La la lab. <laughs> it's a load of pictures mm. of us. Mm. Why do I say us? Us. That I've printed. Us. That I've got printed. Yeah. From all of the time that we've been together. Like that's one of our first pictures that I could find that I love. And that was one of my favourite pictures. Quite old. I think nine years ago nearly. Like nearly nine years ago. Oh, that's in Spain. It was our first time in Spain. Okay, there's quite a few little Spain ones. My natural tan was more tanned than I am when I fake tan now. Like how? What happened? <laughs> I think in this you were 16 and I was 17 because I think it hadn't quite been your birthday yet. No. Oh no. I was 20 and you were probably 20. I think we were both 20. How do you remember that? We don't have to go through all of them on camera because there is literally like loads. There's loads. Oh no. What? Our fire went out. That's become an advert oh, for Alex. Milwaukee power tools. Add some logs, add some logs to the fire. <laughs> it's gone out. It's gone. Oh, it's back again. Oh, yeah. oh, how long has it been like that for? I don't know. I'm ruined by aesthetic. <laughs> anyway, we'll go through our pictures because you guys don't want to sit there for ages. <gasps> look though, look, it's when I dressed you up as the doctor. Mm. Oh, who remembers that video? Well, I'm glad you liked your little treat. Thank you very much yeah. for my little treat. <laughs> We've kind of run out of time to do the gingerbread house, haven't we? You're right there. <laughs> I'd say so. We'll do it another day. Sorry, it means you can't watch. Unless we film anything else Christmassy, then maybe we'll add it in that. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how it was called decorating my house for Christmas, but I decorated one room. But I, d I thought I had more decorations than that. I've used everything. I need to get some more stuff. So I've done what I can for now. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.